my chair soaked. Wagyu steak, minted peas, and mashed potato. There's nothing quite like having a coffee from bed in your tent when it's raining like this. Hey everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm up here on the tops, and it looks calm now, but I tell you, there's a big storm coming. There's severe winds, heavy rain, and it's just gonna be a struggle to survive in my little tent tonight. But I'm up here now, and it's calm, and it's been an absolute slog to get up here. The pack's fully loaded, super heavy. It's full of treats, got rum, wagyu steak, and bacon and eggs. I'm just gonna make my way over to camp now, get everything set up and just enjoy a calm night for a change before the storm comes in. Well, it's great to be back up here and I'll get on and set up. I've got the Nemo Cooney toupee for this trip. I quite like this tent even though it's quite fiddly but on a day like this when it's sunny and I don't have to worry about pitching in the rain it's a good choice. It's about two kilos, so it's quite lightweight. And once it's pitched up, it's super nice. So I'll get this set up, kind of facing a long ways through here, so I've got nice views out to the mountains that way. But it's quite good to be up here for a change, and it's not raining. These poles, they clip nicely into the grommets of the ground sheet and the tent body. As you can see, setting this up in the rain wouldn't be ideal. I've done it before, but this tent's more suited for snow and not water falling on it during the setup at least anyway. This part of the tent's pretty cool. It's got this little third pole which clips in there and it pulls the whole front of the tent out it makes it super nice and taut and real strong. These guy lines that attach to the inner, you can wrap them around the pole like that. And look, you've got like structural support on the tent, kind of like the Hillebergs. So that's, that's not going anywhere, that's strong. Look at the beautiful color on this fly sheet. It's one of my favorite things about this tent. And the fact that, just look at it, it's pretty cool. It's got this big orange fly, which just looks nice when you're up in the foot of camping. Welcome to inside the Nemo Cooney. Massive pockets, lots of space, heaps of ventilation. They got a beautiful view out the front door. So this is home for tonight. Gotta get the stuff out of my pack, into the tent, all set up, and then I gotta get some firewood. Woohoo! Alright, gotta get this tarp up. I gotta be pretty smart about how I get it set, because the winds are gonna be coming in and smashing me in the morning. So I want to get the orientation of it pretty good now, so I don't have to adjust it later. I'm gonna to have to use a pole or a stick from my last camp to prop this up. It's a bit rotten. Should do for now, maybe not for the storm though. Have to take it down in the night. I think I'm gonna to have to make some alterations to this for the storm, but it'll be good for now. Might roll this side up for now. As there's no rain, give myself a bit more of a nice view out. Put that down at bedtime. Not bad, beautiful setup. Amazing views out this way. 
I'm gonna go get some wood soon and I'll get a little fire going down there. Not that I really need it right now, but I think it's gonna be quite cold later on. But look at this tent. Look at the setup, look at the spot. So nice to be out camping. I'm gonna chill for a bit, get some wood, and I'll come back to you guys to cut that up. Good dead stuff. Alright, I think that should be enough wood. It's kind of rotten, but it'll burn. So I'll get on to chopping this and then I'm gonna have a rum. Ah! Oh, stuff this. I need a rum. Cheers, everybody. It's thirsty work. Gonna tidy this wood up, get the fire going. Man, gathering firewood, it's hard work. Mm. Right, so, oh, that's refreshing. What I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna try, like, dig a little pit in here, just scrape the dirt away, so I can't catch on anything. And just have a small fire in here. Just chuck a bunch of these. All this dry mess. Just get that in there. This stuff's so dry, so I'm not concerned at all whether or not I'll be able to get this going. Just grab all the stuff off the ground, biff it in, tidy up my twigs. Got the little lucifers. These things. You've seen me do it. You've seen me light fires in all conditions. Wet wood. The physics of the fire help as well. But these fire starters, the little lucifers, they're very good. Okay, this is my phone, and this is a map of New Zealand. I'm located right up the top there. And these colourful bits is the rain radar. And see where it's red and dark purple? That's coming up. You can see at about 4 a.m., 7 a.m. It's gonna come completely over the campsite and smash me. So that intense weather front's coming, and it's gonna make contact with us at some time in the night. So I'm gonna wake up. Obviously get the camera out and film that. It's gonna be super exciting. But until then, it's just gonna be peaceful. Just enjoying some of this delicious rum. I'll let the fire die down, and then it's probably time for dinner. I've got minted peas, mashed potato, and a Wagyu steak. So it's gonna be quite the feast. But it's a beautiful evening up here. There's a bit of fog, clouds rolling in, clear sky, no wind. 
And the temperature is actually dropping fast, which is nice because it's real hot. But that's going to chill. I'm going to come back to you guys for dinner time, I think. Okay, it's dinner time, and I'm cooking this up. This is going to be quite the treat. This is a, a Wagyu beef ribeye steak. I'm going to have that with mashed potatoes and rehydrated minted peas. I'm going to cook it on my GSI pinnacle pan. It's going to be absolutely delightful. I haven't had a Wagyu steak. Well, not for a long time. It's the same brand, same company that I get the burgers from. Where's my lighter gone? So I'm expecting it to be rather succulent. I'm gonna get this pan super hot. Use my saw to cut this. This should give it a real good crust. I want to get it real hot. Look at this man, that's so tender, it's going to be delicious. I get some salt on there. Freshly cracked pepper. Oh yeah. Oh man, that smells so good. Get the rest of this pepper on there. This is going to be a deluxe meal. Maybe one of the best. The steak smells incredible. I got this mashed potato here, which I, I'll squeeze out onto my plate. And in this cup, I got my peas, which I can strain out of here. Gas has run out. I think it should be ready. Not really sure. I don't cook steak very often, so we'll just have it as it is. Far out. Look at this. Wagyu steak, minted peas, and mashed potato. Up in the bush with a storm coming. Okay, where's my fork and knife? I got my little Tokes titanium fork and knife here, so I'm up here with high sophistication. I gotta show you because this is just this is just awesome. See, you got these. I mean, look at that. Got to give it the taste test. It seems to be very tender, and the fat's like rendered down. Far out. <sighs> this steak is so tender. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. Far out. Oh man. Wagyu beef. It's good on those burgers, and I'll tell you what, as a steak, it might even be better. This is amazing. I'm going to take a little photo of this for Victoria and put it on the Instagram while recording. <laughs> By the way, follow me on Instagram. I'll put the pinned comment in this video and a link in the description. So I do like behind the scenes and just a bit more kind of stuff about what we do. And I don't know, I might start doing little gear reviews on there too. I won't put them on the main page the main channel but on instagram we'll just put whatever look at the steak oh it's got a crust on it mm. that's some top quality food and this knife it doesn't i don't even need the knife like it just it literally falls apart 
Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this. Watch the vistas. I got a hot chocolate. I'll have that later. I'll give you the tent tour and then it's storm time. Honestly, man, I cannot believe how tasty this steak is. It's insane. It's blowing my mind. I never knew it could taste as good. This is going to put me down the steak rabbit hole. What a day. That's nice. The winds are starting to pick up and the temperature's dropped quite a bit. So I got the big jacket out, changed into my base layer, the Merinos. I got the Rab Zero G. This jacket is pure luxury. I call it my Gucci jacket because it's shiny. It's kind of like a designer jacket. Oh, it's good. It's time for hot chocolate. You can hear the wind blowing my tarp around. I've got to secure that soon. Otherwise, I'm going to get blown away in the night. If I get this on, it's getting quite dark. It's quite nice. On the menu tonight is a good old jar of dark. Had one of these on the last camp. And they're just delicious. They're a great way to finish off an evening after a meal. And that steak, I think it's the new king of camp meals. I'm sorry to say it, but I enjoyed it more than the burgers. So I'm a very happy man. Who is a moth? You can see the tarp probably just in the shot there flapping around. I'm going to peg everything down soon after the hot chocolate and get ready for full storm mode. I haven't put any more wood on the fire. I'm letting it die out. And I've still got quite a big pile here which I'll save for another camp. But I just don't want to stoke the fire up with all these winds coming in. So I'll let it die down. Just enjoy my hot chocolate. I tell you what, I'm looking forward to getting into bed after this. Oh, the hot chocolate. It always impresses me with how delicious it can be just from the sachet. It's nice and creamy, not too sweet, quite rich. Oh, anyway, I'm going to enjoy this. Watch the clouds roll in. It's pretty dark now, so I can't really see much. Listen to the, the Morporks, the Roo Roos. It's like a little, it's like an owl, a native New Zealand owl. They go, woo woo, woo woo. And just, yeah. Then I'll tie the tarp down, I'll show you that, and then I'll get into bed and give you the tent tour. Oh my god, look at that. That's the moon. It's a full red moon. Alright. It's amazing. Let's get this tarp into storm mode. There you go. Okay, for the night, we'll get this down. In the morning when I wake up, I'll be able to sit into this spot and have shelter because the wind's going to be coming in this way. Man, it's a narrow door for this tent. Okay, I get the boots off. It's quite hot in here and I have to open up all the vents. <clears throat> this tent, one of the best things about it though, there's heaps of ventilation on it so I can get a real good airflow. This is all fabric but you can roll it back and turn it into a huge vent. You just get real good airflow coming in. All right, I'm inside the tent. And look at this thing. It's kind of like a giant palace. I've got my head at the narrow end, which is not really the way it's designed to be used, but it's the way the ground's sloping, and it works quite well. These are the, um, the big vents I was talking about, and there's this one up here, and there's a hole in the fly as well. So maximum airflow. And like you can see, another big vent in there. So this is the Nemo Cooney. Excuse the shaking. And look at this. They got big pockets up there, pockets there. That's looking outside. The birth canal. I've got my pack in here just because I don't want to get wet and wick as steel from it. Now I'll just leave the door open and I'll make sure the fire dies down. You can see it out there. But yeah, that's, that's probably it. I'll 
turn the camera back on as soon as the storm hits in the morning. But I think that's enough for me, guys. I'm gonna just enjoy being in here and go to sleep. It's been a fantastic night and a great camp so far. Be the famous last words. But I shouldn't be too hot tonight. I can feel like a nice breeze coming through. So yeah, I should get a good sleep and I'll see you guys for the storm. <laughs> All right, good night everyone, I'll see you tomorrow. Been woken up to this rain and wind. I'm not sure what the time is, but it appears that the storm has commenced. You just hear those winds in the trees, man. <laughs> it's quite exciting. Good morning everybody, there's some pretty heavy rain coming down, tent shaking around a bit, <laughs> I slept pretty good, I think it's about 6 o'clock in the morning, it's quite loud in here with the rain coming down, oh. yeah, I feel like getting a coffee on, I think I shall. Yeah, I'm happy I brought the tarp down. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it would have been just blowing around, rain coming in and hitting me everywhere. So I'm dying for a coffee. So that's the first priority, I think. Look what I've got. These are quite special. These are coffee sachets that the little filter papers, kind of like the ones I've used before but I've got my own coffee in them. So I just tear the top off. It's quite stormy. They got the filter. It's very grim. <laughs> That's good. Got a boil already. So all I do with this is I pour the water straight on and it's my own specialty coffee the beautiful beans that I usually grow up that smells amazing and I see the trees blowing around out there the sky's just dark with clouds Cheers everyone, coffee in the storm. From the tent, <laughs> what a morning. And I'll tell you what, it's quite cold. That wind is chilly. I'm very happy that I brought the nice big jacket for this camp. There's nothing quite like having a coffee from bed in your tent when it's raining like this. That rain is loud, it's no joke. <laughs> the tarps, you can see it in the shop. It's blowing in, it's water just dripping all off it. It's rather exciting. I've got four of these coffees as well, so I'm gonna be well caffeinated. coming down. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of rain. That's one coffee down, three to go. Oh. Up into the world.
that secure. She'll be right. Need to collect some water. Get it down under here. current course of action is to probably get another coffee on and make sure I don't get completely soaked. I've got all my rain gear on. As you can see, I'm fully protected. But yeah, this is some heavy as rain and it's just dark, completely dark out that way through the trees. I might have to pull the tarp down a bit more, but I just don't think there's anything I can do when there's this much wind and rain coming in. So I just have to make the best of the wet situation. <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool though. Oh, my chair's soaked. This is getting torrential. Okay. I think I've stabilized the situation a bit. We want some water. <laughs> oh my goodness. I get another coffee on. This is just the glory of camping in the rain. You gotta deal with these type of conditions. This tarp here seems to be doing pretty good though, stopping it driving in and hitting me. So I'm quite, when I'm in the enclosure, I'm quite secure. Oh. Far out. The rain and wind seems to come in like big waves. There's like a little bit of a lull at the moment and I could get a bit of a view out to the mountains. Um, everything's working good, setup's keeping me safe and dry, kind of. And I'm on to my second brew, so, so far so good this morning. I have an absolutely deluxe breakfast. I got brioche buns, bacon, eggs, and Swiss cheese. So I'm gonna make like these ultimate little McMuffin type things. So they're gonna be very, very tasty. But I'm in no rush today, so I'm just going to sit back, chill, enjoy being up here, enjoy being out in the storm, and just stay dry and warm. But it is what it is, guys. Camping in the rain, from calm to storm, heavy winds to luxury food. Get me some more viewing angles. Hopefully the wind stay down so I can get a view out. Oh, that's better. I can see out to the mountains now. If a bit of rain comes in, so be it. I'm wearing my waterproofs. I'll be okay. This is glorious. I kind of want to get a fire going, but it's just too windy. I've got all this wood here, but with all this blustery gusts kind of coming in from all different angles, I just don't think it's worth it. So I'll just chill, enjoy the views, and then get breakfast on, I think.
This is heavy rain. <laughs> I like being up here when it's like this. You can see the water just gushing off the tarp behind me. The wind has died down a bit, so I can have the full setup open. But it's just turned black again, out into the void. I'm going to incinerate this bacon, cook it till it's super crispy, put that aside. Then I'm going to fry the eggs, chuck some cheese on them, make the perfect little breakfast burgers. It's going to be delicious. The non-stick capabilities of this pan, it's incredible, the eggs just slide around. Just want to get that melted on there. This is going to be next level delicious. Now i got my buns, i got a little bit of sauce I'll put on there. Get some of that on there. Okay, now it's time to construct. Oh, the cheese is fused. Get one on each. Sweet. Here we go. This, quite possibly, the most deluxe breakfast in the bush. What a treat. My mind is blown. The food that I produce up here. Bacon, egg, Swiss cheese, brioche, tomato sauce sandwich. What a delight. Looks like it might be clearing up. You got a little bit more visibility out there. There's still dark clouds out that way. I don't want to pack up in the rain. <laughs> so hopefully it does clear up. That's some luxury food. Got no words really for this. Oh, man, that breakfast was good. Hopefully, I don't have food on my face. Look, the sun's come out now, and the winds have blown all the rain clouds away. There's actually a rainbow out there. And just out from these little clump of trees where I'm camping, it's brutally windy out here. Whoa, it's gonna blow my camera away. So out here, pretty windy, but back in the camp, over there, whoa man, it's all good. Whoa, that breakfast, that was something else. That was a deluxe feast and last night's dinner. This combined to a culinary experience on this camp. The wind now though, has pushed away the clouds and it's clearing up just out of my camp behind these trees. It's super windy and here I'm quite sheltered. But there's still a few spits coming. I'm getting my visibility back and the sun's coming in this way but I think that's about me. I might have another coffee but then it's probably time to pack up with this break in the weather and then it's gonna be the nice wet walk back down to the car. But it's been a pretty excellent camp guys, really appreciate you guys coming along. Special thanks to the members and everyone who just watches, likes and subscribes. <laughs> oh, I love coming out and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. But I think I'll get on with the pack up and then I'll come back to you when I'm walking out I think. I'm just so full now, I just need to sit back and relax for a bit. Got such nice views. Anyway. Gotta get on with this.
pretty nice pack up. It's turned into a beautiful day now. Sun's out, rain's gone. Should be a nice walk out. <clears throat> I like the spot. I could bring the Alak here, the Hilleberg Alak, the Neak. I could face out this way or that way. I think the next time I come back here will be in winter when it's cold and there's snow. I was just thinking about different ways I could pitch the tent. But anyway, that's enough from me. I'm gonna pack up. Well, I have packed up. Get the pack on and walk out back to the car. It's only got about an hour down, so that's the camp, guys. It was pretty awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. I'll see you in the next one. So there you guys.